what's going on you guys, I'm Flaparts and we're back here on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 taking a look at some blackout information for you guys or at least some stuff that I was able to gather during the blackout beta. As you guys know the beta has ended but that doesn't mean we're not going to be able to play Black Ops 4 blackout sometime soon. In the next couple of weeks here it is going to be officially released on October 12th and hopefully this video will be able to help you guys out. Of course along with that as this game does progress through on when it is released and in the patch updates and everything like that some of the things that I do mention in today's video is subject to change with patch updates nerfs buffs and everything like that but from what I was able to gather from my testing during the time of the beta this is the stuff that I was able to come up with this is the things that I was able to test out and help you guys and give you guys for this video here today so with that I'm gonna be showing you guys all 14 of the different perks available for blackout at the time of me recording this video of course there could be more that are gonna be added later in the game as the game progresses and if there is of course I will make more videos talking about those new perks, those new weapons, those new anything that they add for Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Blackout. So with that said, let's get into all 14 of these perks, what they do, how they work, and things that you might want to know about them. So going by the alphabetical order of these perks here, I've arranged it in that way, we're going to be looking at awareness first. So what awareness does, if you guys didn't know already, is the enemy footsteps become louder. They are going to be louder. So in this test here, you're going to be able to see that I'm not going to be using awareness and I'm going to be listening for these footsteps you might be able to kind of hear them and that's only because they are kind of close by however when I do after that activate awareness you are going to see that they are definitely louder it's going to sound as if they are very close to you but you're actually going to find out that they're actually on the other side of the building you're going to be able to note that when I do hear them I'm going to be able to stop what I'm doing find where the choke points are the doorways and everything like that and kind of get the jump on them before they even know that I'm around. to safe zone. For our second perk here, we have Brawler. Now what this does is that it increases your melee damage as well, is that you can gain 50 health per each successful melee attack. Now what's crazy about this perk upon testing it is that I didn't think it was going to do as much damage or at least significantly raise the amount of melee damage that you do once you activate Brawler. So for the test that we're going to be doing here, we're going to be meleeing my friend here because right now there is still friendly fire. I don't know if they're going to be removing that later on when the full game comes out, but Right now, you're able to do friendly fire on your friend, so I got a friend here to kind of be the guinea pig in this case. So the test here is that I'm going to melee him with normal damage from the front. He's going to have no armor on, so I didn't want to go and try to go and find all these different kind of armor pieces to see exactly how much damage could be reduced if you guys are wearing armor, if you're wearing a tier 1 armor, 2 armor, or 3 armor. So in this case, throughout the whole test, my buddy here is not going to be wearing any armor, so this is basically just raw damage right here. So the test here is that I'm going to melee him from the front, and a melee damage does about 30. 38 damage so when he's here at 150 health he's gonna go down to 112 he's gonna hit me back so that I go down to 112 as well so that you guys can see that I also take the same amount of damage when he melees me so then from here I'm gonna tell him to heal up while I activate brawler so that I can get that increased melee damage to see exactly how much damage I'm doing from 150 when he's at full health with no armor so after that I'm gonna melee him and you're gonna be able to notice that my HP went from 112 back up to full for 150 as well as you're going to be able to see exactly how much damage I'm doing to him since he has 150 health. Let's just go ahead and roll the clip.
Now for our third perk here, this is going to be called Consumer, and what it does is that it reduces the use time of health and consumable items by 50%. Now you're going to be able to see in this clip here, I went ahead and brought myself down to 100 HP and I'm going to be using some first aids here so that I'm going to be able to go and use two of them to heal myself up for 25 HP apiece, which will bring me back up to full of 150 HP. Now if I had more time with the beta, I would have been able to go ahead and test it out, bringing my HP down a little bit more and then also being able to go and compare of what it's going to be like using a trauma kit, a med kit and everything like that. But unfortunately right now for this clip, I only have the first aid. Now like I mentioned to you guys, the consumer perk is supposed to reduce the amount of time it takes to use a health or consumable item by 50%. So here when I use a first aid to bring myself to 125 HP, it takes about two seconds to pop and use it completely. And then when I activate consumer, you're going to see that it still takes about two seconds to actually pop it off instead of getting that 50% reduced time, meaning that it should have taken one second instead of two. So now, like I said, I don't know if consumer works better when it comes to using a trauma kit or a med kit or anything like that. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work but for this example here it doesn't seem like the first aid really works or the consumer perk really works to its fullest degree at the moment now coming in for our fourth perk here this is going to be dead silent another one of my top five picks of perks that i'd love to use in my loadout this here allows you to move quietly make less noise when opening stashes as well which is basically the suitcases that your enemies drop when you kill them now the test that i'm going to be running in this one is that the amount of noise that i make while i'm walking and running versus when i activate dead silence and the amount of noise that I'll make while I'm walking and running. So here's the clip and you're going to be able to see exactly the difference in sound of me running around when I'm outside or inside an area versus when I have dead silence activated and doing the same thing. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. So for the fifth perk that we have here, we're going to be looking at Engineer. So what this allows you to do is that it reveals the nearby vehicles that are in the area as well as enemy placed equipment such as those big barricades that have like that sound wave kind of thing, the little stun kind of wave that comes out from the front of it as well as mesh mines and other things like that. So in this clip here, you're going to be able to see that right off the start, I have the Engineer perk as well as I'm going to be able to see that there is an ATV in front of me, but I'm not going to activate the perk and then when I do, you're going to be able to see that I'm going to be able to see all the vehicles around me that are fairly close by and also if I go out of the sight line of the actual vehicles I'm going to be able to see a white outline of that vehicle as well whether it's an ATV or a truck I'm going to be able to see it through trees through hills through doors through walls through buildings anything like that as long as they're fairly close by to me and also the clip following this one here as well you're also going to be able to note that I'm able to see enemy placed equipment showing up in red right through buildings now for our sixth perk here this is iron lungs now this personally when I tested it I don't think that I'm really gonna be using it too much I'm also not much of a sniper person however what iron lungs allows you to do is that it increases the steady time on snipers basically when you guys are aiming down and holding your breath as well as on tactical rifles as well and you can also hold your breath time underwater a lot longer so what I'm gonna be doing in this test here is that I'm not gonna go underwater because I just don't feel like a lot of the gunfights do end up underwater however a lot of people are gonna wonder about the steady time versus iron lungs when you guys actually have the perk on so what I noticed through my testing is that when you guys are actually doing your steady time or your steady aiming or when you guys are holding your breath with a sniper or a tactical rifle you can hold your breath for about four seconds but when you activate iron lung you can actually extend that to about six seconds so if you really need that extra two seconds it seems like it would be a lifesaver I thought it would have at least doubled it in time so maybe from four to eight but in my testing it seemed about six seconds in total now coming in for our seventh perk here this is going to be called looter and what it does is that it reveals all the nearby stashes and loot items now this perk is actually a very good early perk to have when you guys are starting off your match if you guys can get this right off the bat I suggest using it right away that way you guys are gonna be able to see all of the weapons the items consumables everything nearby you guys especially since it also helps out to help you guys find that backpack because as you guys know backpacks are essentially one of the things that you guys definitely need to have right away at the start of your matches aside from a weapon because the more things you 
fun, the less chances you're going to be able to pick those up if your inventory is already full. And so with Looter, you're basically going to be able to see all the loot through walls, through floors, everything like that. Anything that happens to be nearby you as well as enemy stashes as well. So when you guys find this perk, make sure you guys go and get your hands on this. Here's a clip of me using Looter. Now for your 8th perk, this one is called Medic. Now what this does is that it allows you to heal faster and revive faster. Healing items restore more health and downed allies are revived with more health. Now the thing about the Medic perk, it seems like only half of the abilities on this list here for the Medic perk actually work. When it comes to the first set, which is to heal faster and revive faster, it doesn't seem like it really did anything different, especially since there's also another perk called Consumer, which is actually supposed to reduce the amount of time it takes to use health and consumable items by 50 so I found that when I was healing using medic it actually didn't work just like when I was trying it with consumer So for this test what I've done is I wanted to see exactly how well it's gonna work when it comes to downed allies And when they're revived with more health So basically what I did here with my friend is that I downed him and when I revived him I asked him to tell me how much HP he has and he said that he was revived with 50 HP The second test that I was gonna run here was to down him again and then activate medic and then see how much HP He gets when I revive him after that and he said that when he was revived, he went from 50 HP from a regular down not using Medic to 125 after I revived him using Medic. Now there was also a secondary test that I was running with Medic alongside trying to down him and reviving him seeing how much HP he was going to get. I asked him to bring me down to HP, which was going to bring me down to as close as he can before killing me, which was 15 HP. And in that case, before using Medic, I would go ahead and use a Med Kit and that would bring me up to 65 HP because a Med Kit normally will give you 50 HP when used. Now because of the medic perk it says that healing items restore more health so after I do activate the medic perk I go and I heal myself up from 65 and then use a med kit and from there I should be getting a lot more from my healing item for a med kit that normally does 50. In this case I only went back up to 115 which is still the regular 50. So in this case I don't know if they're gonna patch this up or fix it or anything like that because it doesn't seem like the healing faster and reviving faster really does anything as well as the healing items restoring more health doesn't seem to do anything so based off my test right now it seems like the medic perk all it's really valuable for is when your allies are down you can revive them for more HP now for our ninth perk here this is gonna be mobility now what this allows you to do is move and swap weapons faster you can take no fall damage and you can fire weapons and use equipment while sprinting and you can also move faster while you guys are reloading so the test here was basically to just sprint around shoot around and reload and see what that would do versus when I activate mobility and doing the exact same thing and you guys are going to be able to note here that when I sprint and try to shoot I actually stop in place and kind of do a walking motion instead and when I try to reload while sprinting it kind of just stops me and I kind of go back into walking as well and reloading my gun and then when I activate mobility it actually lets me sprint while shooting sprint while reloading all the good stuff the only clip that I'm not able to show you guys is me actually jumping off a building using mobility to take no fall damage it does actually work I just unfortunately wasn't recording at that time but don't worry this is actually one of those perks where it has a lot of benefits to it that actually all work opposed to something like medic perk where it has three different abilities and only one of them work now for our 10th ability here this is going to be called outlander now what this does is that it reduces the damage that you take outside of the circle as well as that it increases the movement speed outside of your collapse or zone or basically outside of the circle so what I've done here is that I've ran around inside of the zone outside of the collapse there and I'm trying to see exactly you know what the movement speed is like as well as how much damage I'm taking and then I'm going to go and activate Outlander and show you guys exactly how fast I'm actually running, how increased the movement speed is when I'm inside of the collapse. Now something that I did note about this is that right now because it's still a beta as of the time of me getting these clips is that the amount of damage that the collapse does at the moment isn't really up to where it should be. When I recorded this I think I was only taking one or two damage and I'm sure that in other BR games you would take a lot more damage than that and using Outlander it didn't really seem to make a difference at this point but I'm sure when the full game does come out you're actually going to see a significant change of how much damage you would normally take where for example if you guys were outside the collapse let's say you took five damage but then using outlander you would actually take like one or two now coming in for our 11th perk here this is one of my favorite perks
types to use in my loadout, this is Paranoia. Now what this does is that you can receive an audible alert when an enemy is targeting you while they are ADSing or basically aiming down sights right on you guys. So if they're looking at you, it won't alert you, but if the second that they ADS in the space around you, you will get an alert saying that they are looking at you, they're aiming down at you, and you're about to get shot. Now essentially the test here is just me using Paranoia and you're going to be able to see that as I'm walking around in these different clips, you're going to be able to see the direction or at least hear the direction of where this audible alert is as well as it lets you know what the audible alert sounds like when you activate paranoia because it starts it off right after you guys activate the perk. Now coming down to our 12th perk here, this is called Reinforce, and what this allows you to do is that it reduces damage from explosions and fire, and its secondary ability increases resistance to flashbangs, concussions, and razor wire. So for the test here, what I've done is got my friend here to go and concuss me, and you can be able to see that I'm stunned, I'm not able to move around very quickly, and I'm basically a sitting duck. Now however, when I do activate Reinforce, I allow him to go and concuss me again, and you can be able to see that the amount of stun time I have on here is reduced significantly, and I'm able to go back into the battle. Now coming in for perk number 13, this is called Skulker. Now honestly, I feel like this is a very underrated perk. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the highest tier perks you definitely want to have in your inventory, in your loadout when you guys are running through for blackout. This here allows you to move faster while you're crouched and prone. And what's actually kind of crazy is that it's very underused because it also can act as a dead silence perk while you guys are crouching and proning. So for the test here, what I've done is that I wanted to show you guys the speed of me normal normally crouching and proning versus when I use it with Skulker, as well as the speed of me walking from one rock to another rock versus me using Skulker and doing the same thing going from one rock to another rock. And all the while, I want you guys to keep in mind of the sounds or the footsteps you guys hear while I'm crouching or proning versus when I use the Skulker perk. And now on to our last and final perk here. This one here is called Squad Link. Now this here allows you to see teammates through walls. It's pretty good if you guys end up being split up or if you guys want to be really into your comms knowing where everybody's position is and where they're placed if you guys are trying to do any kind of strategic movements. But basically the test here is just to see my teammates names, where they are, and then versus when I'm able to actually use Squad Link, you're going to see that I can see them through walls, through grounds, through pretty much everything. Kind of like I'm using the engineer perk, which reveals the nearby vehicles and enemy equipment but in this case it just lets me know exactly where my teammates are at all times and with that ladies and gentlemen that is going to be every single perk that you guys need to know about here in blackout that has been all 14 perks explained to you exactly how they work what they do and all the extra little abilities that they also come with as well some of them right now don't seem to work properly of course this was just a beta however when the full game does out i'm sure they will maybe work properly and of course as there is going to be more patch updates and everything like that we are are more likely to see either more perks added, perks removed, things be buffed, things be nerfed. We're gonna have to wait and see exactly what happens with that. So take everything as the standard right now in this video of how they work and of course as those buffs come out and everything like that we will update you guys more with those informations here on the channel. So before I end off this video I do want to leave you guys off with a question that I want you guys to answer for me down in the comments below and that question is gonna be do you guys enjoy that we do have a perk system implemented for this Call of Duty's version of Battle Royale Blackout or would you rather 
here that we don't have any perks at all when you guys see perks do you pick them up or do you guys just leave them there and go rather run other kinds of equipment instead let me know everything down in the comments below but with that said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video remember to drop a like subscribe guys haven't already turn on that post notification by hitting that bell icon next to the subscribe button also follow me on twitter to stay up to date on everything going on regarding my videos my channel my streams and myself and of course guys if you didn't know we stream a lot of call of duty here on the channel especially when call of duty black ops 4 is going to be released here on october 12 as well as a lot of blackout content that's going to be coming to the channel as well so if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel here on youtube.com slash flip for all those kind of streams as well as over on twitch at twitch.tv slash flip live everything you need to know is going to be down in the description below hopefully i'll be able to see you guys in those streams sometime soon as well as hopefully i'll be able to see you guys in the comment sections of videos like these in the near future thank you guys for watching catch you on the flip side arts out